St. Louis County community has more answers tonight about its super fun site in Bridgeton. Just 24 hours ago, the Environmental Protection Agency had its open house on Westlake Landfill. And our Justina Cornell joins us live in the newsroom with more details on next steps. Justina. Well, and the EPA explained the cleanup efforts that will be happening mm. at the 200 acre site Westlake Landfill. Descriptive maps were presented and I'm told this is the first time they've ever been shown. You know, this is obviously the deepest one right here. These detailed designs are more than maps. For the advocacy group Just Moms STL, it's a roadmap for remediation. This is the first time that we've seen these maps. After more than a decade of dedication, the duo has seen a first. It shows exactly where they're going to do the cleanup and um, we haven't seen that before. On Thursday night, EPA shared these images to the Bridgeton Open House on the Superfund site Westlake Landfill. The landfill holds radioactive waste from the atomic bomb and the EPA is required to clean it up. This is going to be a very surgical dig. It's going to be, um, you know, the most, the deepest they're gonna go is about 28, 29 feet. So it is not a massive hole in the ground and the way they're going to do it is, is little areas and that they quickly backfill and then move on. So there won't be anything left open. Co-founder Don Chapman said more waste was found, which means it'll cost $113 million more, resulting in a $400 million project. The crowd was, as crazy as it seems, um, I think felt a little ho more hopeful because they were seeing this. It's a mix of emotions for co-founder Karen Nickel. That's pretty gut-wrenching, you know, knowing that it's been sitting there for 30 plus years, um, so much more than they were aware of. They believe in the power of people, and they say public pressure and persistence led them here. God, I'm hoping I'm gonna be here to see this happen. What's next on their roadmap to make it to the finish line? We are those people. And, and it stops with us. I would say I'll never stop fighting. I'll take my last breath fighting this issue. While well, there was some progress last night, there is no timeline for remediation. A spokesperson for the EPA tells me it's currently reviewing the remedial design. Once cleanup begins, it could take about two to five years to finish.